Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Here we have a unique species that thrives in the Sonoran Desert. This is Demont's fairy shrimp, scientifically known as Streptocephalus henrit demontis. Formerly described in 2005, Demont's fairy shrimp shares taxonomic similarities with Streptocephalus mckinney, the Chihuahuan desert fairy shrimp. Its habitat spans across the Sonoran Desert, particularly in regions of northwestern Mexico and southwestern United States, such as Arizona. Now, in captivity, I use a substrate mixture of sand, calcium carbonate, and compost. The typical hatch time for the species ranges from 24 to 72 hours, and this also depends on temperature. Once these guys hatch, the shrimp typically take one to two weeks until they reach maturity. Like most other fairy shrimp species, once they hatch and mature to sexual maturity, they actually slow down in growth. And then, after a while, they will continue to grow bigger until they reach their full size. So in my tanks, their diet is prominently algae microorganisms from the compost. Occasionally, I will add liquid fertilizer or a bit of more compost to simulate bacterial and algae growth. You can use other foods such as spirulina or yeast, but you have to be real careful on the amount that you're using because you can easily ruin the water. These fairy shrimps tend to be more graceful as they swim through the water, with males being more active as they're looking for mates and females tend to be more stationary. The mating process for the species is really quick, only lasting a few seconds. Now, some characteristics of the species is its frontal appendage, which is very short and has two lobes. Another feature that is common amongst the genus Streptocephalus is a distal outer growth known as a pendicle. At the end of the pendicle is a structure known as a hand, and this is the feature in which um, people identify different species of fairy shrimp within this genus. The overall characteristics of this fairy shrimp is very common with the rest of the genus. Well, this is all the information that I have for this species. These guys are quite adorable. I actually had these guys for about three months, so they're pretty long-lived. Now, I wish I had more information to share with y'all, but uh, this is kind of a quick video for me, and I actually have a sore throat at the moment. So feel free to watch uh, the rest of the video. It is just clips of these guys. But if you really want to see more content, uh, please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up.